Hi, this is Mrs. Zhu, and today we're going to be talking about solving an inequality and when to flip an inequality symbol and when not to. Now, this uh, worksheet that you're seeing was uploaded to Edmodo and also handed out in class <clears throat> on Thursday, October 18th. We're looking at uh, this flow chart, which is going to help us figure out when I'm supposed to flip the inequality symbol in an inequality uh, question when I solve. Now I will always start with looking at the number next to the variable. I want to see first if that is an adding or subtracting question. And if it is, then I will not flip the inequality symbol. Now if that number is being multiplied or divided, um, that number next to the variable, then I have to first check if it's positive. And if it is, then I will also not flip the inequality symbol. But if I'm multiplying or dividing and it is negative, then I would flip the inequality symbol. So below, right down here, we're going to do a few practice questions. So go ahead and look at your own worksheet and um, we can do this together. Let me make this just a little smaller actually so we could see. So here's the chart up here. We're going to look at the first question. Now I look at the number next to the variable and it says 3. And there's this negative over here. Now the negative, when I see it in a fraction, I can just bring that negative and leave it with the 3. So I will do that. So in this question, I am dividing, so I'm dividing, and that 3 that I'm dividing is a negative. So in number 1, I will flip the inequality symbol. Number 2, number 2, I look at the variable x. I see it says subtract 5. So I look here. I go to the left on my chart, it's subtract, so that means I don't flip the inequality symbol. So number two, I do not flip the inequality greater than or equal to. I will be working these questions out in the next PowerPoint, uh, the next, not PowerPoint, the next video. Number three, uh, I will look at the x and there's a seven. They are multiplying, so I look at the x, I um, look at the seven, it's multiplying, it is a positive 7, so I will not flip the inequality symbol for number 3. Number 4, the y has a 9 underneath it, and the negative will go with a 9. It is a dividing, so I will start here. I will divide the question. The 9 is a negative, and then I would flip the inequality symbol for number 4. Number 5, I look at the y. I look at the negative 2 next to it and it's a multiply, so I'm going to start here, I will multiply, it is a negative 2, and I will flip the inequality symbol. Number 6, I have my y, I have plus 9, so I look over here at the y, it says adding a 9, and I will not flip the inequality symbol. So on number 6, I will not flip. Now the negative over here on the 12 doesn't matter that it's negative, just like the 18 doesn't matter here, the 49, the 10, the 17, nor the 15. I'm really only looking at the number next to the variable. So remember, if it's um, a multiply or divide question, if it's negative, that's the only time I'm really flipping. Follow the chart as best as you can. Watch the next video where I will actually solve all six of these questions for you.